Who's actually going to win this monumental rap beef, Drake or Kendrick Lamar? We're going to give our 10-minute takes on it. Joining us today, Ryan Alexander Holmes. Uh, I guess, long story short, this whole thing's been going back and forth. There's so many shots being fired. Does this even matter? Is it performative or is it just trying mm. to reignite interest uh, in a flagging rap industry where a country is, is seemingly uh, taking over? First of all, I just want to give a shout out. We did a whole podcast with Ryan before this video. It's about being black, Asian, and from L.A., uh, so check it out. But anyways, we're just talking about rap right now because we've talked about this together as friends, so, so we just got to make a video about it. Yeah. So, Ryan, I guess after... Okay, it's got J. Cole's diss, Metro Boomin' Like That, Drake Push-Ups, Taylor Made, Euphoria by Kendrick, 616 by Kendrick, Family Matters by Drake, Meet the Grams by Kendrick, Not Like Us by Kendrick, and now Metro Boomin' just dropped a beat about BBL Drizzy. Oof. What is your feelings as a L.A. guy yeah. into rap, rap fan? I mean, first of all, like it, it, it gives me PTSD towards like the black violence that has happened in hip-hop, and it has ended in, you know dire circumstances but i don't think that's what's going to happen here so i think there's a levity to this and i think it's kind of hilarious and i think it's good for hip-hop in terms of getting people's eyes back into it and putting it m launching it more into like the uh public arena for everyone to sort of witness and the stakes aren't as high like the stakes aren't life and death so i think it i think they're both kind of winning even if people are saying like that k-dot has eviscerated drake I think that they're both winning in terms of they're 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 even more relevant than you are talking about the the search engine optimization the yes, eyeballs all the that, engagement all that it's all coming back to yeah. rap where it almost yeah. was like can black people take over country music with uh, Beyonce and Lil Nas like, X yeah Shabuzi yeah and yeah these yeah different things so. Yeah. so do you think it's igniting both audiences right now or because there is some crossover of the audiences obviously that some people are just enjoying it as fans of both. I think they're enjoying it as fans of both. Yeah. I think, I don't think anyone's even really choosing a side really per se. Like I st still think they're going to listen to both of their music because Drake just makes hits and so does K-Dot. Like I think at the end of the day, they're both going to win. But I think when you said, when you talked about performative, I think like as the artists that are doing it as Drake and, and Kendrick, they just want to feel like they're on top. They want to mm. feel like they stuck it to each other and they want to win that battle. But what's funny is the fact that like, it's actually good for both their careers. So long as it doesn't get violence, which I think, think it's going to. I, I agree that actually, uh, I know J. Cole stayed out of it, but <laughs> him not being in the fight, it kind of is now, it kind of shows that they're one and two. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of the inkling. That's kind of the, the assumption, David, right? Would you agree that because this battle is so big and all eyes yes. on Drake and Kendrick, I know what you that mean. from their separate realms, which mean. Drake is more of the pop rapper yeah. and like gangster rapper, or I don't want to say gangster rapper, but you know what I mean, yeah, yeah, pop, yeah. whatever, yeah. mainstream. And then Kendrick- You hear Drake's music in the strip club. Yeah, and yeah. Kendrick being kind of the more conscious guy, it's yeah. the champions of both realms yeah. now going at it. But J. Cole's kind of in between. I think, but I think J. Cole was the bigger man to be like, yo, this doesn't sit right with me. I'm going to take a back seat. But we're, we're talking about hip hop fans and that's not what they like to see. They want to see a fight. Yeah. They want to see people go toe to toe. Do you think Dr J. Cole saw that he was more on the hedonistic frat boy side being with aligned with Drake and being like, you know what? I'm kind of more conscious low key because like him and Drake are both mixed. Kendrick's full, you know what I mean? Like, I think J. Cole made a business decision in the sense that he just didn't want to go to that place. Cause I'm sure like that's a lot of animosity and a lot of thinking in the ways that he doesn't want to think anymore. Cause that's not what his brand is. Like that's yeah. not what J. Cole's brand is, you know? Right. Well, like, it, it's like all about peace. No, yeah. but, but isn't Kendrick doing the th most Kendrick thing in that he's much more outwardly pro black and his, his lyrics always breaking down like all these things about society and racial dynamics and black power. And then he's going up against Drake who has always been questioned about his blackness and his heart with the black community and whether he's a culture vulture. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like Drake is the prime target, mm -hmm. not J Cole. Cause J Cole is like a conscious mixed guy. Yeah. yeah. Right. Cause they're both half white. And yeah. Half black. But, yeah. but J Cole has much always been more like, you know, you know, down with the community, black power and stuff. Yeah. But now Kendrick is going at Drake, who is the ultimate culture vulture for years, whether or yeah. not you call him that. So I mean, it's kind of like funny. on brand for Kendrick. Yeah, right? it's very yeah. on brand for Kendrick. And then that's yeah. why you're not a community member. You're a colonizer. That Oof. was the, that's, I mean, that's almost like, I, I always thought Kendrick's lines, like when I speak 
I electrify him. When you speak, you pacify him. Mm. I was like, man, this guy is really cutting to the core yeah. of why Mos Def calls Drake pop rap yeah. and not a true hip hop artist. It's interesting because like Drake is 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 cons- is like a, a a very generally popular person. And I artist. like Drake songs. And I artist. love them. <laughs> like everyone sort of relates to that. And he doesn't really talk about his blackness in the same way that Kendrick does, you know? And and does that have something to do with why he's so popular in the way that he is? You right. know what I mean? He kind of leads into, I would call, say, like high school superstar, sort of like black jock at the school. Mm. You know how nobody ever asked the star football yeah. or basketball player yeah. like, to say any... That yeah. they leave that for like you know he, he comes Afro and he comes from side. he comes from a background in acting, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. In Hollywood, so it kind of makes sense that the approach that he's taking too. So he let me ask you this, mixed, Ryan, I, you know? and I'm just asking you because you're a mixed yeah. black and Asian guy. Yeah, Drake is mixed black and Asian. You're in the arts. <laughs> you're in Hollywood. You act. I feel like I know. Do you going. relate to Drake personally oh. more? Or you're like, no, I'm an LA black guy, Kendrick all the way. Honestly, like, I can't say that I relate to either of them more. But if I had to, I feel like Kendrick grew up in L.A. I grew up in L.A. Different circumstances, obviously. We're mixed. It And I know sort of, like, the areas that he grew up in and what he's talking about. And also what I studied is, like, you know. I you understand. more identify with Kendrick's I message. I understand his message. Yeah. But I understand also what where Drake is coming from. Do you know what I mean? Right, where you're saying you know what I'm talking that, because uh, I know that one of the things we had talked about in the previous video is like, not everybody has to be a hardcore direct activist in the way that yeah, 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 Kendrick yeah, yeah, is, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. But it seems like, I mean, from Kendrick's perspective and his music, he really is for the black community. Do you, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's funny because I saw this one piece on the internet, how they were talking about like a lot of Kendrick fans in a way are like more white than Drake's fans. Really? But his music is so black. Oh, okay. Do you know what I'm saying? But I know what you're Well, that's like the same thing with, like gang, when NWA came out. Like, what kept them afloat was all these white kids that loved their music. Th- th- that love politics. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because Kendrick's crowd has definitely read more books than Drake's crowd. <laughs> I'm going to say it. Like, for yeah. sure. Like, your average Kendrick fan has read more books Read more conscious material, more W. E. B. Du Bois, more whatever yeah, than Drake's yeah. crowd. Like Drake's crowd doesn't know who W. E. B. Du Bois or uh, Mansa. Well, Musa the thing is, they anything. don't have to. Do you know what I mean? Right. They don't have to, and I think that's why he's a pop artist or considered a pop artist. Because pop artists are not meant because, to force that on you. Yeah, right? because the intelligentsia doesn't can listen to Drake, too. You know, and then but I, I think smart people listen to Drake. And keep it in the yes. Drake is fun. He it's makes a good casual songs. Listen. We like the music. Yeah. We like to vibe. Music. Yeah. If I'm at a party, I will probably listen to a little bit more Drake than Kendrick. But yeah. I always feel like that intelligent people, their respect is with Kendrick. So now, to me, it's a battle of respect versus pop power. And Drake yeah. has the pop power. He yeah. got the hits. He has everything. He got the club hits. But Kendrick. Even for me, I'm always gonna admit I'm like, oh yeah, Kendrick is saying the craziest stuff. Like oh, yeah. since Section 80, his 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 mixtape. Like I've I've always been a Kendrick fan, but I'm not gonna yeah. lie, I listen to more Drake. It's David. popular. It's popular music. Yeah, you know, and, it feel but good. That, but then when we're talking about a rap battle, that's a completely different conversation. And I think that's where Kendrick is starting to take the edge, because it's like now he's really about that, and he's really about the community, right? Yeah. He's really about hip hop. In, in, a, in a different kind of way than Drake is. Right. So yeah. it's from a pure hip hop battle Kendrick perspective. Kendrick yeah, from a pure hip hop battle doesn't perspective. I mean, yeah. No, he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't croon. Yeah. Um, you, could, you could argue in a way that the only rapper that Drake beat was Meek Mill because he lost to Pusha T. Because th- these hardcore, like lyricist, lyricist, he, I don't use, go- I'm like, I yeah, just I know. sit and write a hundred bars yeah. every day for, just to keep my like you're go- strong. He's going up, up against lyricists is like, that's crazy. But, like, did he lose in the end? Did Drake lose in the end? No, yeah. because the, even the fact that people felt like he exchanged yeah. blows with him. It's almost like if you, nobody expects you to, if Jake Paul 
just exchanges blows with Mike Tyson and yeah. he loses by yeah. decision, yeah. he still will have won. That's what I'm saying. I mean, he's already won. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jake Look, Paul has already won. I, I thought Logan Paul in the narrative battle won against Mayweather because he looked better than you thought Logan Paul would look so, against Mayweather. So that's that's also why I say like they're both winning too. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, I agree. David, any last thoughts? Man, for me, it's interesting to see, like you said, I just don't know. It, you have a serious knowledge-based, conscious, lyricist, lyricist in Kendrick, and you almost have the distillation. I mean, obviously a little bit more lyricism muscles than your average like pop rapper, like a Nelly mm. or like a Ja Rule, mm. but like almost more mm. from that realm. I put Drake, if you made me triangulate it more towards that realm, and I'm like, nobody can really win or lose yeah. because winning or losing would have to be between two people in in the same inter, arena? Yeah, inter arena. Yeah. No, you're yeah. right. It's like having an MMA yeah. fighter box a boxer. It's like even if that MMA fighter goes uh Yeah, it's like Mayweather toes, and yeah. um um uh Conor McGregor. Yeah. Yeah. That like fight nobody that. really thinks Conor McGregor sucks because he lost a boxing or, match uh, yeah. to Mayweather. Wait, didn't Usman, exactly. Usman lose to uh Tyson? Tyson, Tyson Fury. Oh yeah. But it was like Tyson Fury only boxes. The other yeah. guy he used the kneeing people, choking people out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like that's why it was like yes and no. Because Different at the styles. end of the day, like, people are going to, like, if you have, like, sort of those, like, sports star, hedonistic, frat boy dreams, you're always going to want to trade places with Drake. Of course. But if you are, like, more brainy and you're like, man, wh- what is to the cutting to the core of, like, actual, like, what yeah, knowledge-based rap should be about, oh, then it's yes. for sure. It's I mean, it's like, it's like Basquiat <coughs> and, you know, Andy Warhol. You know what I mean? Right. Like, and we know Basquiat is Kendrick. Warhol is Drake. So it's like, yeah, how can you really compare and say who's going to win between those two? Yeah, because it's an art know? battle now. Yeah. It's just an art battle. Was J. Yeah. Cole kind of like Banksy then? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, you know, tries to I say stuff. Man, he might, be, he, might be fi- he might be like Monet or some shit like that. He might be like fine art. You know? All, right. All right, everybody. Let us know in the comments <laughs> down below what you think, Kendrick or Drake, or are you just enjoying the battle? Because as rap fans, I know this has nothing to do with really being Asian, guys. But we just wanted to talk I, I mean, about it. I'll say this. Let me just bring it to an Asian level. Like, I feel like our content as Asian creators is more like J. Cole or Kendrick than Drake. Like, I don't oh. make the Drake of Asian content. Mm. Like, like, I let all the pretty whoever's on TikTok and stuff be the Drakes of the Asian community. Oh, not wow. that there's not a space for that. But, like, for I mean, sure, like, we're more towards the like Kendrick. Like, gritty J. and... and- yeah, like, yeah, like it's not always pretty yeah, when you yeah. like listen to Fun Bros topics. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not yeah, going yeah, to be. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna yeah, be yeah, like yeah. F- you're gonna hear a lot of references. Yeah, oh, hell yeah, that. bro! If we were Drake, we'd we'd get way more views. No, I appreciate hell that because I feel like I'm kind of like that too. I don't go towards like the glitzy, glamoury stuff, glamour stuff. I go towards like what what I'm passionate about and what sits right in my soul. You know what mm-hmm. moves me, my passions. So yeah, I vibe with that. I know what you mean. Yeah. All right, everybody, check out Ryan's stuff down below. I'm going to leave a link. Check out that full podcast that we did about being black, Chinese, and famous on TikTok and Instagram. All right, until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Peace.